uh, I know that everyone is very much eager for the part two uh, clip that is about the journey of then we can add it coach so before going to start this video please please everyone should subscribe share like view this channel so the last question I've been stopping the part one was is it really the school events or the school tournaments like into school DS or NMS is giving a bright future for the deserving players so after having the experience in the school from last uh, 2008 to 2013 in five years I have just come to the conclusion this is the best event it's a big event like into schools DSUs and MSA best of the best players comes and they were like eager to show their talent which like for them it's like a big tournament they have that uh, immense tendency to show that how best they are and they want to win for the school and make them school proud in all over Mumbai now in Mumbai so but the thing is going on the same routine which I've been noticing from so many years no one is coming there no one is watching no one is seeing the best cream and the best talent so uh, and the sad part is that in a day more than 45-50 matches are going on that is also like for under 15, under 14, under 17, under 19 in a day, both for the boys and girls. So it's like a tremendous pressure on the DSUs and the organizers. They want to finish in two or three days. So they are also helpless. Like they have to keep each match like 15 or 20 minutes and let in 10 minutes half or like 8 minutes half. And that is also 11 11 big pitch. What the player will show is caliber, what game he can show. Because it's a knockout tournament. If they lost, they have to go back home. If they win, wait for the next round, which they have to wait for the another like three, four hours for the next uh, qualifying rounds. So I studied all this thing. I just recognize all that, and I feel as a coach, I can't grow in this industry because it is not allowing uh, to go beyond the limit which is not able to understand by anyone else I don't know what other people are thinking but I personally feel this is I have to stop this is my journey I have to stop so I left the school industry in 2013-14 mm, after coming from the school then I have start from beginning from the zero way then I applied for the D license AFF then I after D license, I did my C license, AFC, Asian Football Confederation, which is very tough, but it's one of the best thing to understand what is football coaching is about. And the very, very important thing which I have got to learn that is instant match analyzing. I think that was the best turning point in my football career coaching. Instant match analyze has made me understand what exactly the football is. It makes me understand the weak and strong areas of the opponent team and our teammates, our team players, where the player is going wrong, which position he should be playing at better place. If he is having the potential, he can play in the defense again, he can go in the meet, again come and drop back. So many things I've got to learn from Instack Analyzing because whenever we finish the training, so go home, I should do study on the match analyzing, as to put the feedback of the player's performance so it's like very easy for me to understand and to enhance my knowledge at the greater level and the best part of my coaching skills and especially in stack match analyzing really helped me out to give the best uh, teaching to the players and because of that thing we start moving every part of India then we got we start moving to Bangalore, we went to Kerala Blaster, we went to Chandigarh, we went to Northwest, even we went to East Bengal Island and <clears throat> all part of India we went for the selection and many players got selected, deserving players today, one of the boys playing for under 23 Indian team and uh, one of the boys got selected for the Minerva Punjab, some of them got selected for the Ozone FC, some got shortlisted for the Bangalore FC. So it makes me very uh, active and very much honest and happiest thing at last I start delivering as results which I'm not getting in the schools because school is like 
you are coming someone under rule like someone is overruling you you don't have a freedom to express you don't have a right to say anything you just come work and go back home so i left the industry and i've got my own freedom i'm my own channel i my I'm my own thinking i know what what i have to do what actions i have to take to reach at best level to raise few schools and uh, like they are like uh, taking me as a professional coach and four coaches working under me so the things are going like properly we are giving the best results for the deserving uh, players to the result to the schools so this is what my journey was going through and at last i understand once i left the school industry yes i started with my nirvik football academy and you can see the best of the best results we are delivering and and a lot of things i have to learn i have got to learn from all over india when we start moving to the different part of our cities and state it's not like i have given the best result and today one of the boy manish who got selected for the city seranos uh for the spain and it was like a proud moment for the indian uh, for the indian nation that one of a boy from india is representing to the european club that is also spain which is dominating in every part of the football world but still the hunger is not fully uh, finished i have an appetite to keep going ahead more and more i want to deliver the best boys to playing at the top level and still we will keep ourselves very simple very down to earth we will respect everyone's feeling it's not like that we are given some best results so we are like on the top of the world no it's not like that it's like me for an appetite for me as a coach even at the same teaching i'm giving to the boys keep understanding keep learning from many players many coaches respect keep your attitude down to earth it is very very important if you have to sustain for the long time so this is what i got to learn from many coaches of the different part of a country and i will always keep myself humble and down to earth respect to everyone's feelings and keep learning because it should not get stop if you keep learning you will move ahead you will understand what exactly the football industry is how oh, so this is what my journey was and i hope you will like this video very much and really i am expecting more and more subscribers more views should be coming we are expecting more than 2000 subscribers and more than 50000 views should be coming like it should be touching to 1 million views hopes it's going to happen or all your blessing of the fans like you those who really understand what exactly the pain we have gone through how from zero level we have been moving and slowly slowly we are taking our indian national indian football indian players to the european clubs so this is before saying bye and saying thank you to the please really subscribe our channel and now everyone should be knowing what exactly we are going through like we all are locked down so please stay safe stay home take care of yourself and everyone your own your family hope you'll like this video very much and in future i'm going to make more videos about how to groom the best uh, the players and how to achieve your dreams to reach to the european football thank you so much